Today we've got a bunch of videos going up from Destiny the Taken King. We've also got a bunch of videos for ESO, so anybody that likes to watch ESO, there you go. Right now we are in the Dreadnought, and we are actually going to be doing the public events that you use the runes for, so present a rune. He just presented a rune, which was Anthony GA. We're going to go and do his. Also, Odyssey Grimwall is with me, so put your hands up and clap your hands for Odyssey and Anthony GA for helping me do this video. You're going to be doing a series of these. I'm going to explain to you kind of how to beat the bosses, and then I'm just going to let you watch the remainder of the boss fight, and then I'll also go into more commentary on the next boss. But we're going to do a series of these in this video. Watch all the way through. It's a 10 minute video, guys. I hope it helps you guys understand how to beat these public events. So with the ogre, I will say this. A cursed thrall has to blow up next to the ogre to break his shield. Once you break the shield, the ogre will be able to go down fairly easy. It takes about three cursed thrall, so if you have three people, four people fire team, the ogre doesn't have very much health, but all you do is you drain him down as much as possible. So we need to get him one more time. There's a cursed thrall, and he's about to go down. So we're going to go into the next one, but first I need to tell you about this Dreadnought Pugilist. That is a mission that you get. It popped up on the right hand uh, screen, up in the top near the Eris Morn uh, reputation that I just achieved. That's a mission that you have to do and it will give you a, I believe, a legendary weapon. Um, so make sure that you farm this enough to be able to go and get that mission. It's random, completely random, so I hope you guys get it. I hope that helps. I'll present my room. My rune is now presented, and now if you present a rune, the trick is, is if you die, your fire team has to revive you within, I think, 18 seconds. If you do not revive or revive yourself and get back into the event before the time runs up, then the event will cancel, and you won't receive any rewards, and you'll have to redo the whole entire event. See there, the event cancels in much time they revived me it went away now we're still continuing the event this guy right here though he's very easy all you have to do is kill everything in the room and then shoot him and he'll eventually die so just make sure that you kill all his minions and he'll go down in no time Hope this help for this boss and i will start commentating on the next boss So these two are knights, and one's going to have a sword and one's going to have a gun. One's also going to be taken and one's going to be a normal knight. Now to do this you have to get both of them very very close together and then you'll be able to break their shield and do damage to them. That's the only way possible. Now the easiest way to do this is if you have a working fire team and there's nobody else with you and your fire team is in a party chat, try to stay really really close together, attract the knight like I'm doing now towards you and then when you get him close to the gun then you just shoot both of them. Um, try to focus your power mostly on one 
just so you can kill him right away because when one goes down, the shield for the other one is never going to come back up and you'll just be able to take them down. Now this chest right here guys, I will let you know that that is one of the exotic chests in the Dreadnought and it is in this area so if you wanted to get to it, you'll need the key to open it and I'm not sure what key that is right now and how to get it but when I figure that out I will be posting a video on the channel just to let you guys know, a little spoiler. And also right there, all those statues are also different levels of this event going to be a tier 1 all the way up to 5. When the raid is released, they're supposed to be a tier 6. Now, this one, basically, the only problem with this is it spawns a Yellowhead Knight. Make sure you kill the Yellowhead Knight first. That's not the knight that I'm talking about. They already killed it. Okay, once you kill that knight, then you'll be able to break the shield of the switch. Now, the health bar on this witch isn't actually too high, so you don't have to really worry about it. Just focus fire on the knight. Then, after the knight's down, which is right here, here's the knight. Now he's down, and then basically I'm going to kill off all the other enemies that are trying to kill my friends. And then, he slices me in the face, you know, that's okay. Revive, and then this moment in time, almost done. There it is, event completion, guys. And we'll be going into the next one momentarily. Lucy Killer just activated it. Okay, guys. So, the last event is going to be three wizards. All three of those wizards have to be killed at the same time. So, I hope this helps, and I am kind of happy with how the events turned out. The events actually went very smoothly. We have been farming these events for a little while now, so... I hope this video helped everybody. If it did, please drop a like on the video. Also, subscribe to the channel for future content. We do have a lot of videos coming out today, so stay tuned for those. Other than that, there's a Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition that's going to be given out on my channel, also on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. So the social medias are going to those links are going to be in the description of this video. So go check those out. Also, for the Fallout 4 Pit Boy Edition video on my channel, the link is going to pop up in the bottom left of the screen in the outro of this video. So if you click on that, it's going to take you to that video. It's also going to explain to you how you can possibly win all of that stuff. 
So, again, guys, thank you. I love you guys. I love the fans. I love YouTube. I appreciate you guys. You guys are helping out the channel a bunch. I finally got to 2,000 subscribers and over 100,000 views on the channel. So that's a huge victory for me. So I appreciate it. Again, this is Hunter from Violent Privilege. I'm, I'll see you all next time. Sponsored by Syfax Industries.